this is JS and it can be intimidating. So let's actually copy paste this and turn it into a no code formula so that other people using your app um, can use it without having to look at the code or you can use it in the future without having to look at the code. So I'm going to copy paste this, go to logic and create a new formula. We slugify. All right, the parameter, I'm going to give it a text. So it's going to be the text that I want to slugify. As a test value, I'll just say this is a test. OK, and now I'm going to paste the JavaScript here. Here you go. Now, here, the title is actually not this context item data, which was coming from here, but it's the par parameter that from my global formula. All right, now I have this as a test. It's working fine. Actually, I could also say file extension, file extension. And I'm going to say the test value is .png. And here at the end, I'm going to replace this by this. There we go. Now that I have this global formula, I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit scary, but I'm going to switch back to formula here. I'm not going to try to convert. And here I'm going to go to formulas from my project, take the slugify formula. And here, I'm not sure how to use it. So let me add a description here. I'm going to say the first parameter is text. Second parameter is file format. So now I know if I hover over this, I know that the first parameter is the text and the second parameter is the file format. So I can find to the title and then type in .png. There we go. And I can just use this no code formula throughout my app without looking at the JS all the time and being confused by the JS and maybe breaking something. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions or ideas on topics you'd like us to discuss in future videos, please let us know in the comments.